Today's topic, so we're back. Who do we think is the first manager to get the sack in the Premier League this season? Maurizio Pochettino. Uh, that's rich coming from you, isn't it? Nah. Let's get straight into it. Nah. Right, I'll tell you why. I'm going to bully Sub today, yeah, just for about five minutes, just for one reason, one reason, all that. Because I'm sure it was on the podcast that you said. Oh, they'd probably finish top five. Yeah, with Pochettino. Yeah. But it was the same reason. guy. Wait. Let me finish. I'm going to give him some credit. I don't know why he's pulled his head like that. Yeah. One second. I'll let you speak so quick. He's the same guy who put in my head that Pochettino's not a big coach when he went to PSG and he lost the title race against Lille. And he described it... Spearheaded by Burak Yilmaz. Yeah, but you described it perfectly. He lost a one horse race. He lost and the a one horse, horse race. And yeah, the one horse in that one horse race is who? His team. His team, yeah. PSG win it. It's like so, Bayern. 100%. And he's the only one that... Oh, I mean, I know you got... Sorry, bro. Oh, yeah, you do this a lot. Darwin. Sorry, bro. It's from the year that they got to the Champions League. Sorry, bro. Yeah, but they lost, didn't they? They lost it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so what? Well, United have been doing last few years. Let's go there. Don't go to United. That's your only team. That's different all topic. Say. That's all I could say. It's your team, innit? But yeah. That's um, true. It's a different. Yeah, go back to Pochettino. Pochettino. You put it in my head. I'm mm. going to be serious. Uh, we'll, his job at Espanyol and Southampton start of his career. Fantastic jobs. Amazing. Small clubs. Did great. Tottenham was the next step up. Brilliant. Fantastic. But, however, um, That's there, his level. there was that one season when Leicester won it where him and Arsene Wenger, Arsene Wenger one of them should have won it. You always point that out to That's me. That's a massive man. failure. Right. He's the managers. same guy as well. Let me just say it to Sub. He's the same guy that did a one point, you know, over Eric Canard. Eventually. Yep. At the time, uh, a year or two beforehand, I did want Pochettino to come to United. Before he went PS. G. Yeah. Did he join PSG? <coughs> no. no, no, it was before he went PSG, he was yeah. linked with you lot. Then at PSG, yeah, yeah. he was linked because yeah, he was yeah, struggling. Yeah, yeah. And now he's at Chelsea. Honestly, I haven't heard much talk about his job being under threat yet. That is slowly it's creeping up, but I think it should be. They've spent a billion pounds. He can't get a win. A he can't billion, buy a win, obviously. Billion. Deep. He keeps that. saying it, yeah, I know. It, 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 everyone it, goes it, to United, we've spent a billion in 10 years or whatever it is. Bro, they spent a billion a year. Who's, who's been their best signing? What? On the, on the field? For oh, the billion, yeah, 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 for the billion. On the field. Who's played the best from them signings that they've signed? Enzo Fernandez, and he's not even been like, wow. Nicholas yeah, I mean, struggling. yeah, I mean, Enzo. Nicholas Jackson. Nicholas has had a decent start. Right, I'll tell you something, yeah. He's missed a few chances. This is where <coughs> fans need to <coughs> show up about pre-season. And dumb down the hype a little yes, bit, yes, yeah? Yes. And understand that it's only pre-season. 100%. Right? Ian Matson, Nicholas Jackson, Christopher Nkunku, I know he's injured. Christopher Nkunku's got an injury, which is, could be key to them not scoring goals and having a link. But they look like world beaters, bro. I mean, the thing is, and yeah. And people thought they gelled already. The, the thing is, it's not like they're not making chances. They ma they're making chances. So, we can't totally discredit Pochettino. But the thing is, it's a game of results. The Premier League, especially the high end, when you you know manager of Chelsea, United, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City, any of them big clubs, bro, they've turned themselves into a bigger Brighton in my opinion. Chelsea, yeah. Right now they're not good. No, I don't no. Know what's going on? The reason I'm saying bigger Brighton, right? You could take that as me taking the piss in on the field as well. Bigger Brighton, I mean, their transfer model seems like they're just following them. Let's sign the best under 23 players that we can. Yeah. And I don't think they're even signing the ones that they've started themselves. I'm not being funny, right? Because a lot of them last season was Arsenal have made a bid for someone, Liverpool are interested in someone, United are interested in this guy. Todd Bowley's bought him. Let's go for it. Bought the him. Thing is, the thing is with Todd Bowley, obviously he only wants to make a mark on the spot, but he doesn't have no knowledge. He's got absolutely There's no, no knowledge. knowledge. There's no knowledge at all. He game. probably calls football soccer. Yeah, he does 100%. Yeah. He don't know. He probably don't know the offside rule. Do you understand? Like, it's not even a joke. What's going on with Chelsea is bad, man. And you know what? That's coming from a United fan. But you know, is he seen as a business from day one? Because he, one of his original suggestions were when he came in, why, why isn't there an all-star game in the Premier League? Right, let's go on that for a bit. Oh. We'll, we'll digress a bit, right? Why the, I wouldn't want to watch a Premier League all-star game, to be honest with you. North we South, if you, there was to be an all-star game in football, in my opinion, it should be rest of the world be Europe. Or, I'll, I'll tell you, yeah. We make our website mm. on a serious. Yeah, if anyone robs this idea, you've robbed it from me now because I'm saying it's no, straight. No, you I'm need to get on it now. You need to get right, on what it. What I'm saying is that you set up a voting system for fans to vote for their 22 best players that season. You get in me? each in each position. Yeah, yeah, and you'd have like 
three, four players to pick from, and whoever gets the most five votes, to pick from from each position in any league in the world. And whoever gets the league, most votes, they all meet up in one city over yeah. the weekend, right at the end of the season. I think he did more than 22, though. You got to remember subs. No, that's what you said. Oh, okay. uh, 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 sorry, I agreed with you. No, I didn't say okay. that. I lie. Okay. I, I apologize. I agreed with Sub in the end when you said three, four uh, players for one position. So mm. we give him five, they mm. pick two per position. Yes. Yes. For, for each yes. team. Yes. Doesn't yes. have to be the rest of the world with Europe. So whoever gets the most votes, they're the starter. 100%. And whoever gets the second most votes, yeah. they're on the bench. He, he, they're on the bench, yes. right? Yes. Then the managers get voted for. Yes. Yes. So you pick your favourite manager. Good. Right, and then the fans get to vote for which city that year it gets to be hosted in. So Paris, London, Spain, Barcelona, Madrid, etc., etc. Yeah. On top of that, then you've got the game which should last. Obviously, the the the, the week. It should be a weekend. Yeah, a bit like NBA All Star. Mm. Right, but it should be done right at the end of the season, not in the yeah. middle of the season. Yes. And just a quick weekend where the and it's for the fans. For the mainly. fans, yeah. And. The players as well. The players get to meet the, the fans. Get to meet the players. Those fans that go to watch that game. The whole purpose of it being fan driven is that they give their time to the fans for that weekend. Yes. So they do skill shows like we seen Havertz doing uh, America in preseason. Not in. <laughs> <laughs> what we love you. No, don't even call it skill show. Bro. I was did just you watch say, it. Yeah, yeah, did you yeah, watch yeah, it? yeah. I did. You missed everything. Yeah, I'm bit, yeah just. That day that, bro. Ghost show. That day that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Let's go back to topic. Uh, no. No. But. And that's what I think should be if football had an all-star. No, no, you're game, right. No, you're right. Maybe not even every season, and it should be done in maybe every second season, like the Euros. The, the year that is, there's no international. Yeah. There is always no, one season yeah, that there's one no international. Game, that one summer, one game for the weekend. Yeah. Everyone's there. All these football content creators get to go there, etc., etc. Everyone. It's just a good weekend for football. Yes, yes. Bolly did it more as a business idea to line probably his own pockets up in the end and line the big clubs' pockets. Why should the big clubs be the ones that benefit from it? It shouldn't be at all. It should be set up by an organisation like Goats and Sheep. No, but yeah, I mean, see, like yeah. a third-party organisation yeah, yeah. that brings everyone together and that's what it's got. Nothing independent of the footballing yeah. clubs. And nothing to do with FIFA and UEFA and all 100%. of this. 100%. It's just fun-driven. Yeah, fun-driven. Fully. Completely. And, and it I can be people, done. People would back that as well. Bro, it could be done easily. Yeah, right. Like, um, Somebody better back me on this idea. 100%. But the thing, like, uh, like I was going back to my point, like we can't fully discredit him in terms of the way they're playing because they've made like I don't know. I think by the fourth game, they'd made the most chances in the Premier League. I think it was only Brighton that had made more. Spending a billion pound, and then you do say no, that. No, 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 hundred percent. No, no, hundred percent. Spending that much money, you shouldn't be where you are in the league. One they bought win, Obama Young Sub. One win. Him. One win. Three losses. You know. He's a number nine. Who did they beat? Was it Luton? Luton. Ooh. They've been Luton, who everyone's beating. We're going to move on to them. Luton just got their first point. 0. 0. 0.8. It? What's the average? 0. 0.86. 0. 0.86. That's relegation, bro. How can we sit here seriously and say... Over the last 30 games, their average has been 0. 0.86 points. Oh, That's Lampard disgusting. Put it that on him. full-on relegation form. In fact, there's about... I don't know the exact stat, but there's... 10 or 15 seasons where the amount of points they would have amassed over them amount of games, they would have gone down. Worst start since uh, Mourinho's third season, if you all remember. Disgusting start. That is, 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 is minus, one, minus one I'll goal be difference. Yeah, I'm expecting them to lose every time I'm uh, checking the score at the moment. That's how bad they are. Not, uh, no lie. Yeah. It's a surprise now that they're winning at the moment. That's how bad their form is. They need to sort it out. Pochettino, for me, 60% chance that he's going to get sacked by January. Who's next? Next, Paul Heckingbottom will move on to Sheffield United. Whipping, whipping, whipping boys of the league. Lost 8-0. This guy is not... Eight really different goal scorers? First ever time I mean, we in said the that. league. We yeah, said we that, even named them for him. You know? Wow. Uh, this guy is not at the level of a Premier League manager. He's not really had any experience. And the experience he did have was that you were telling him about Well, his. one of his biggest experiences was at Leeds, wasn't it? And he didn't even last there for months. And uh, those days at the championship, they were in Awful, there. yeah. So he, was part in the that, the, he was part of that run where they stayed in the championship. Yep. He was another one on the, uh, the list. And then, yeah. obviously, last season with Sheffield, he did very well. Like, you got to credit him in the championship. They did, you know, they did, they did really well. They were surprising to me, you know. I didn't think they'd move up from but the championship. I believe the thing is, they haven't had the right um, Who they signed investment. To? I think Cameron Archer was the Who's he? star signing. I'm not being funny. I'm not trying. I just... He's a from he's Aston Villa youngster. So a youngster from Villa that we didn't... For about 17, 18 million, I believe. Yeah, man. I don't know why these clubs do that, man. Where, where do they fight? Where do they I think it's okay to spend that much money on these English kids? I don't know. Money? It just shows you the scouting system 
like generally in England is shit. It's a, oh, it's just we always most of us, you know, we pluck our players out from like Spain or in Italy, it France. Do, yeah, France. That's where they, you know, generally. Paul Heckingbottom, um, you know what? Sheffield United didn't really buy anyone as well, like we just said. That Gustavo Hammer seems to be decent. Yeah, yeah. that's about it, really. Yeah. yeah. So I can't see them staying up. Next. Should, uh, okay, yeah, actually, I'll make okay. this point at the end. Okay, no, go no, it's good. Next, Vinny Company will move on to Burnley because they're all going to fit in. To be honest with you, I'll go first on this one, yeah. I was expecting a lot more from Company. I know you were. A lot more. I always liked him as much as, obviously, I hate City. I always liked him as Classy a player. Classic guy, man. Wicked captain, uh, wicked leader, brilliant on the pitch, um, scored important goals, defended like a madman. And he was he was a bull, bully man, bully centre back. That's Top how I describe back. him. But yeah, um, the way they played last season in the championship, the way they just destroyed it, and the football they were playing, and you know the the change of um, style, like from going from you know that long ball yeah, football yeah, yeah, under yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Dyche, and now they've gone to like oh, it's possession not tick, based. It's not tick attack. No, it's possession based. It's nice, bro. Against he's, United, he's, he's, he's. against United, they had about 70, 70 odd percent. Yeah, of the I know, ball. I know, I know. I mean, obviously United went there just. Trying to get a win at all costs. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, dirty, yeah, yeah. Disgusting form. So I don't blame United in a sense. I mean, they should have dominated the ball a what bit more. What if that was their tactic? Probably was the tactic. Sit back. Is that play. now their tactic against someone like Burnley? Did because they didn't buy anyone big. Ian Matson, I think, was their best player last season. Who's gone back to Chelsea yeah, and they allowed yeah, him. Yeah. Chelsea didn't let him come back because he did that well. Was he Championship Player of the Year last season? I don't. He, he was in the running, I'm he, sure, yeah, right? He was in the because Hamad's been saying it all the yeah. time, and I know he did really well at them. So they couldn't get hold of him. Andros Townsend, they, they were gonna sign. And why I mentioned <coughs> that is because he said he, he broke down in tears that Vinny Company said he didn't want to sign him in the end. Their style of play, I think, because it's so expansive, these bigger teams know they haven't got the uh, quality on the ball to give them the end product all the time. I think let them keep the ball and let's hit them. I think what it is is they need to go back to basics. Let's let them be the team without the possession. You lot, the thing is, you lot have destroyed the championship. Fair dues, it's not a joke league. I always say this: it's a top ten league in my opinion in the world. Yeah, yeah. Championship makes top ten. I don't know if it's tenth, ninth, eighth, whatever. Yeah, but it makes top. It's 10, not ahead of Saudi. Yeah. Whatever in it, but. Um, the point I was making is they were dominating that league. They can't do that in the Premier League. It's a totally different. It's the big boys league. It's the big boys league. Four whether it's a one horse, one. whether this is a one ho or a, a farmers league, the way you say at the moment. The thing is, the there moment. are still a lot of competitive teams. Okay. The relegation side of the table. I think that's is the sick. most uh, more, more the top four. Even sometimes you know Liverpool, United. You know top four races has been the most exciting thing about the Premier League last three seasons. Yeah. Let's just be honest yeah. about it. I mean, Arsenal, let's, no, let's be real, yeah? Let's give it out where it needs to be. Go on then, so go on, you finally they, they led for on. Dish it out. They it. led for 93% of the season, so it wasn't boring. They made it boring by allowing City to take over in the last seven bloody percent, mate. But ball seven, jobs. The, the ultimate bottle jobs. Okay, the ultimate yeah, bottle jobs. The ultimate bottle jobs. He was to say as well for some reason. You know, Arsenal, if PSG, ball job you know, last if PSG didn't exist, bro, these lot would have a poster for bottle jobs. But they know what their excuse has been, right? Let's just be, let's just hammer it home a little bit. Can they use that excuse that Arteta still like? They try to make it like Arteta sometimes. Some of them, not all of them, like he's in his third season of a rebuild. You can't say that, he's four seasons in. No, I mean, if you're going to judge Ten Hag straight away in the beginning of his second season, come on, man, man's been there three, four years. You need to judge him. He spent plenty of money as Ten Hag as, as well. This so you're summer. blaming not City for, the, for it being a, a boring Arteta league? Arteta flopped it last but year. But you're blaming he the overthought things. And there were certain moments where their players, obviously, understandably... Listen, when they went to Pep Guardiola's Etihad, did you watch the game live? Did you watch it live, I mean, not the highlights? No, no, no. I watched it live, yeah. No. This guy, well, how was he like on the sidelines in Omni Zoom? Arteta? Yeah. Very bloody theatrical, you know, passionate, yeah. strong. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's out there, Pep man. Pep Guardiola was his dad, dad. He is his dad. No, that day, it was his pure, mate. I'm telling you, it was his pure, pure no, 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 Pio put her on that sideline, man. I did not see Arteta go off because he knew if he did like that, a little yeah. mouse. Yeah, Guardiola look at his like listen, I've got Guardiola changed his tactics that game, he completely dominated him and destroyed him, yeah, and he showed there's levels to this. So you know what I mean? It is what it is, and we, we, we gotta be fair when we're giving out criticism and be justified. And what we're saying is is due to the competitors' lack of competitiveness and competitive edge. <laughs> I don't know why I just went <laughs> all competitive mode. Uh, that Manchester City are leading the league and yeah. they're always winning it. And Arsenal, we are hammering it home that you bottled it last season. It's, not, it's not that City won it, you bottled it. But yeah, no, back to the... Vinny exactly, company. Exactly, well, back, back to company in it. Like, 
He needs to go defensive now. It's time to yeah. dog it out. We know you can play ball. We know the team. The team, are, the team are not bad, bro, on the eye. They're not bad. I've watched them against other teams as well. You know, they've been fairly decent. They've been a bit unlucky. Four losses, minus nine goal difference is not good enough, though. Right, we move on to... You the know, you're shipping goals in like I'll that. I'll tell you it's why we're good, good because I'm going to link it all. No, Rob Edwards, yeah, because they are the, the three promoted clubs. The reason okay. I'm going to link in with you is we put these three down for the first to get sacked. Yes. Apparently. Yes. Oh, according to us. Last season, Steve Cooper, Nottingham Forest, they kept on to him. Do you think more clubs should keep faith with the manager when they've come up from the uh, 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 championship Chip to, the, to Premier the Premier League? Should they keep faith with the money that's bought them there? The thing is, um, with Steve Cooper, I rate the job he did last season. Brilliant job. You know, he got points against, you know, some big teams last year, like Liverpool, Arsenal, you know. But the thing is, they had massive injection of cash. Okay. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how many players they signed. Yeah, yeah, Chelsea, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. the next, they're the baby Chelsea, bro. But then that's, I could argue the other point, so they bought two new squads, basically, like 22 players. So you're going to say it must have been hard to integrate, integrate it yeah. all in. Yeah, and you know what? Credit where it's due. So do you think that maybe one of, you know, these clubs, maybe, I don't think, I'd say Vinny Company are them three. No, Vinny Company for sure. Not just because he's the name, because of uh, following him at Burnley, it seems like he's got that, I'm the man of this club. But the thing is, with Rob Edwards, it's, it's gone. With company, yeah. And right. the, the next point I want to make to you, so the only club I've ever known to chop and change at the bottom and be all right and get away with it, get away with it, not be all right, Watford. Well, what for the funny? Say no, no but, but I, I want to know. No, because Burnley in it, man. I didn't chop and change, but obviously, Daesh, with the limited funds he had, how small of a town they are, everything you know, put it all into. That's my point. Then, so the first one that I said, should they keep the manager then? And then I'm, I'm trying to make the point to you that the only time I've seen it be successful, the revolving door at the, the bottom. The thing is, is Watford. The thing is, Daesh knew what he had to do. Okay. Daesh knew. I can't compete with these guys. And he wasn't stubborn. No, he wasn't Enough stubborn. To stick to his own style yes, of like yes. play. And as well as that, it's not like they were just fo a full-on long ball team. You know, he had Jay Rodriguez there. He had some good talent there. You know, there was some. They, they were, were decent. Team. They had um, what's that striker man? Danny Ings as well at one yeah, point. I swear. Danny Ings. There's they another one that's Ings in my head. Yeah, that I can't get. Ashley. Mm. What's his name? Yeah, his first name's Ashley. What's his second name, man? Uh, yeah. We've got another no, football not gonna guy get behind the camera. I'm if I had a football guy behind the camera, I could have told him to research it. No, no, I'm not going to get but it. But my producer today is football stupid. Let's just keep it at that. <laughs> right, Rob Edwards <laughs> is giving me the look behind the camera now. I didn't mean to say like that. Get cracked after this. Bro, I'm getting in the neck after this, right? Getting cracked. <laughs> Rob Edwards, Luton. Yeah, he's off. They're off, man. Like he said in the podcast, they're not the derby. If they don't suck or change, I mean, it might not necessarily change. This is what I mean, innit? It might not, but the thing is, the way they're going, man, it might just, as well just do it. Just try the new yeah, manager that's bounce. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens, say, man. Every well. team has a new manager bounce, more mm. or less. Do it, might as well try it. Try it out. If it don't work in another five, six games, get rid of the. Another one, well, they, they can't keep doing that then, innit? So, it's, it will, will end with Sean Dyche at Everton, right? Everton are the new Sunderland. I bloody can't stand him at the moment because I mean, they're always holding on. I mean, and I thought he was going to do a good job. Let me start. Okay. I thought he was going to kill it this season. Yeah. yeah. As in, get him to at least be a bit better. Yeah, mid table. No, no, mid table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tenth, ten, okay. Thirteenth. I thought they'll finish, and he'll be <coughs> stuck there. As in, solid. <coughs> Yo, they've started very, very, very poor, man. They got the first win against Villa. They've lost three straight. Do I don't know. Do you know? Man. Do you know, do you know what it is? It. No, I didn't expect do, it. Do you know what it is? Um, I was impressed with the with the win at Villa. Yeah, 100%. Impressed, very impressed because Aston Villa have injected a lot of cash into that. What team. do you make of the job? Unai Emery's. Yeah, yeah they, they're up there, aren't they? they you know, they, what, they're top seven or something like that. They've been playing very well. It won't be long till, you know, Newcastle, United, you know, maybe even Chelsea. You never know, innit? Bro, Chelsea aren't doing it this season. You never know, innit? No, I, I'll say it right now. I'll be surprised if Chelsea finish in the top eight this season. Wow. Very surprised. They don't I, still think, I still think they've got a slight off chance of a Alright, tell game. me who's playing good for that team so far. Tell me if that team looks settled. I know you're saying they make so much chances on that. But I don't know. So whenever you see them play, they look, they look a bit unsettled. And there's no, there's, yeah, there's no functioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's you know what I mean, innit? It's yeah. dysfunctional. Even though it? they're there and they seem like they're pulling I mean, in the right direction. It doesn't seem I mean, like I've it's never seen, right I've never seen a team so dysfunctional. A big never. club as them. Never. Especially spending never. the money they've spent. And I thought this. Of my own team back when Ranik was in charge and, yeah, all, yeah, and yeah. a bit of la the latter stages of Ole's career. 
where we were just getting thumped by everyone. Yeah, and everyone. It, it didn't look I know good. they're not getting thumped at the moment, but they can't score. They've spent a billy. Everyone's talking about their run of games that's coming up, right? Yeah, right. How much, and that's where Pochettino is, is, is make or break for him. They got all the big teams now coming up. Yeah. Basically. October, innit? Yeah. Yeah. They're not picking up shit, mate. So he's gone. He's not gone, but they're not picking up shit. Uh, Why are they gonna sack him? Why should I know, they sack I know, him? I know. Uh, we look says, at him and he's I know says you can get rid of Edwards and argued for other people, but the thing is, this manager, yeah, all right, he lost a one-hour race, whatever, yeah. He has still got Premier League degree, pedigree. Back then, he has Premier still got changed. some. It has changed, but the thing is, he's only been here five, six games, man. He just like, beat. They just beat Brighton in the cup. That was surprising. That was. But that might be a chance for him you know to what? salvage to be, his career. To, to be fair, to be, on, po- to be fair on Pochettino, I don't think he shouldn't even taken this job. I think this job right now is a poison chalice because of what they're doing behind the scenes. They're throwing too much the, at the manager, the, the, and it's too much for him to do. The deal thing with. is, if he really wanted a big job in England, he should have either not taken the PSG job or waited for United or whatever. But you the thing is, him. no, obviously at one point we did want him, cause we did. We did want him, you know, he's played attractive football. If he could do it with Spurs, get him right up to second, third. Why couldn't, why couldn't he do it with United? Right. The funds are better. You know, his style of football is good, but he's not a serial winner. He's not a Mourinho. He's not a Pep. Um, he's not, a, obviously, he's Sir Alex not Ferguson. He's, not, no, he's won a league earn, innit? But I don't count him, man, because no, he lost the first have, one. No, but you have to give him No, but let's be game. real. Yeah, I'm not even being funny now. Look, I'm not even joking or anything. So, he won a <coughs> league earn, right? But he lost one. So, I don't even count <coughs> that one that he won. You actually, jokes aside, you put it in my head and it's true. How can you lose a one-horse race? He was, he managed Messi, Neymar and Mbappe first. That's what it was. That was the downfall. No, 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 no. The downfall to Ole, the downfall to Ole was Cristiano Ronaldo. Give over, man. Yeah, I know it's a totally different scenario and I'm describing totally different, totally different scenario. I know what you mean. I know what what I'm saying is Ole, Ole couldn't handle... Cristiano Ronaldo, even though he didn't cause no problems for Ole specifically. He was just too big of a personality. He was, just, he was just too big. I mean, I know they were teammates and stuff, but Ole was a novice manager, innit? He just jumped into a big job, did well for a year, and then obviously... All right, is. That, that's Ole, yeah, but Pochettino already... All right, Harry Kane's not these lot. <laughs> Deli Ali and these, they're not... I know, but he took Tottenham to a Champions League final, right? This was the step up for him, so there's no excuse for I him. I think so we got to judge him at the end of the season. He's Argentine. He he's Argentine. He couldn't even get Messi to play his best Look. football. <laughs> The thing is, yeah. He always used to big up Messi. He used to always big yeah, up Messi. No, of course he did. The world's greatest player. He could have got the best out of Messi at no, PSG. No, and he lost the game against Madrid. You to can say. The, His I, tactics were to wrong. To be honest with you, I think Messi went there for the payday. Of course he did, man. Yeah, and dude, for me, that has put a, uh, like a bit of... Uh, for me, and is you know the love I had for Messi and I still do, but it's put that kind of thing in my head and it always has since that stint at PSG that... I don't know. I thought he was going to go for the Champions League. And when the Champions League big boy came around, you got 37 year old Modric running past you. You're walking at the Allianz Arena against Bayern Munich. And you know, quickly, just a point on that, because obviously we didn't do pods at this time last year, so we, we got to share our opinions yeah. what we're talking about. It. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the fans were right in uh, 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 sounding their discontent towards Messi. Messi and Neymar and, and whoever else. Why? I'll tell you why, because that club. Yeah, but why do they suck Mbappe off then? Because he's Parisian and he's the man. So of, what? He's he, been dying to go for ages. He has been dying to years. go for ages, but he's, he's the only he's one that tries. Elder. He's held the club to run. He does. But did you lot do that to Ronaldo when he stayed uh, for one more season just before going to... Because he still no, gave you Ronaldo lot. never bitched like... He didn't, Mbappe. he didn't, he didn't. He's not, he's, but what I'm saying what? is... He was nowhere near... You okay, Mbappe's on pitch. Mbappe's the biggest bitch in football. His on pitch contribution, though, he backs you up. He can say what he was there. You go Obviously, of course That's what I'm saying. So, Neymar and Messi couldn't do it at that time when Mbappe was because Mbappe was actually backing you. Mbappe was the only one that played good against Madrid. That he had game. a good second season in, it, in the league. In the league, man, yeah. We, is what talking, it is, we digressed a bit Whilst there. he was doing well in um, Ligue 1, Ronaldo was doing well in the Premier League. That's how I'm going to Not just the Premier League. He, was, he had one year in Serie A where he was, you know, the last season at Juventus. He's got 100 goals altogether for Juventus. Yeah. In three years. In three years, you know, his way is, man. Ronaldo is disgusting. On different levels, and disgusting. in that sense. In that sense. Ronaldo never used the, the excuse but yeah, that was, I've, I've left my childhood club and, you know, I've got to go move to another city now. Or my son's died, or let's be real, bro. No, he's a strong character, man. Bro, let's be real. He's one of the strongest Compare them to then, yeah, compare them to circums. All, every, even Thierry Henry, you know, that's the only thing I don't like about Henry is the way he backs Messi. He goes to the nines to back Messi, like, oh, Messi didn't settle in because he played so with him. I know, Okay, fine, no problem. What's this settling in business coming for Messi now? You're the world's greatest player. Go. You're supposed, you, you're, for everyone, you're better than Ronaldo, you're better than Maradona, you are the goal, you're better than Pele. So it doesn't matter where we put you, mate. It doesn't matter what circumstances we put you in, 
the greatest of all time could do it under any circumstances. <coughs> but that's what it is, isn't it? That's why Maradona for me is the GOAT. I'm going to say it now. I'll say it. I'm always going to say it, but I'll say it openly now. Maradona's the GOAT for me because he's got that Ronaldo thing in him. And, he, you know, bro, he did it with Napoli. He did it with Argentina. He did it everywhere he went. He didn't, he didn't bitch. He didn't cry. He didn't complain. He didn't, you know, down his tools. Cristiano's the GOAT for me. And Cristiano I know does this, the same thing. I know this pod is not about the GOAT. Well, it always it is. It's always about the it GOAT. Always it always is. You always is. have to give homage it to the always is. But the thing is, for me, it's Ronaldo. And you know Most Ronaldo's up there for me. Obviously, you know I love Ronaldo yeah, yeah, with that yeah. flex, man. Yeah. Is Ronaldo's the man? Yeah. The, the influence we're going to talk about. Actually, that's going to be a separate podcast. Ronaldo's influence on the Saudi Arabian League, undoubted influence on the Saudi Arabian League. Because if they didn't sign him first, I, you know what? I'll say this quickly as well. Yeah, I'm on the moon now. Today, so because if they didn't sign Ronaldo, who, which other first superstars opening the door? Nobody else is following anyone other than Cristiano Ronaldo, that's the truth. So they had to sign Ronaldo and it is the Ronaldo effect. So people just get that through your thick heads. That Ronaldo had to be the first man there. They had to convince him. Yeah. He opened the door for he's, everyone else. He's, he's obviously the, he's the, leading, icon, uh, he's the leading figure in football. I would say in today's... He's going to be for a long time, man. In when sport, he retires, people are going to cry. Bro. In all of sport. When he retires, people are going to cry. 100%. But you're yeah, yeah. Cry. First I've got a quick one for you. First to guess. I've got a quick one for you just before that. Guess who uh, Rio Ferdinand named as his four goats? He didn't put Messi or Ronaldo in there. Maradona, Rio Ferdinand, Maradona. No, no footballer. Oh, Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson. Mike, Mike Tyson? Yeah. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Roger Federer, Roger. Tiger Woods. First to get sacked. First to get sacked for me, Paul Hacking bottom, bro. I think they're going to just get rid of him, give him it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think short, uh, we'll finish quickly. We digressed on Sean Dyke so much. People are going to think, yeah, these are gifted the gov, just chat shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Dyke. <coughs> He'll stay so I think they'll keep on to him because they'll eventually beat relegation. If they beat relegation for three seasons in a row. Someone needs to change. Like drastically. So obviously some no, something's needed to change for a long time Fair. ago. No. If they beat it for three seasons in a row, I was gonna say there's a hex. There's a hex on the other clubs. Because Everton have flirted. I told you that the new they've, Sunderland. They've not even flirted. They've slept with relegation. Yeah, they're the new, they're the new Sunderland. They fully, they had an affair they're with off, relegation. Mate, big club, mate. They had an affair with the relegation. That's what they did. But yeah. And they um, just about broke it off before the season ended so they could I stay. Th- I think I'll go with you as well. It's between Hacking, but, um, Hacking Bottom and um, Edwards. Okay, fine. Uh, that little point that we were making when you know, it actually yeah, it turned out to be one of the main points of the podcast. Do you think any of them will end up keeping them um, and holding it out with the, prem- the promoted clubs, I mean? So will Burnley, Luton or Sheffield United keep their manager and just say, you know what? I think if company can take his pride away and not be stubborn, change the... F- it don't need to drastically change. I'm not saying go ultra yeah, D. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying go ultra D, bro. I'm saying... Be sensible. Be sensible. Know who you're playing. Against your fellow relegation candidates, yeah, yeah. go play the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, not yeah. too much. But even then, be cautious. But go play the ball. When you're playing City, when you're playing United, you're when you're playing... Sit in, make it so hard. You've, you've been a Premier League player, you should know, man. But I think he's trying to breed that confidence within yeah, the players. Yeah, it's and Burnley, bro. Yeah, the it's quality's Burnley. not there. That's you know, if he was at Everton, fair dues. Possibly. There good, you go, good, bro. Good shout, good shout. There but Deutsch is not even trying that. Once well, he's at Everton, but he's yeah, not but he's, 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 yeah, His yeah. football's not for Everton, bro. Fair. It's for, to save a relegation club. They don't need that no more. They're a big club. Who? Everton. Everton are a big club, so we can't oh, say they, that no more. No, not, no, but in, in history, in it, they're, the they're a big club, bro. They're not, in history even, what, in the 80s, since then, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't, they haven't won anything since the 80s, really. What? They made a few FA Cup finals and semi-finals. A few yeah. runs. Yeah, but, you know, you compete with Man United, Chelsea, Liverpool, They were Arsenal. good in the 80s and that's about it. You, compete, that's you know what, you, it's a bit unfair at times. You compete with them. Moyes, you know what, Moyes did what he could. Exactly. They're a big you know club what, for what they well, are. He's done well at West Ham, just off, off topic. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'll, I'll... So, first one to go, Paul Hackingbottom. Thank Hacking you very bottom much. or Edwards. Or Edwards. For, so, for me, Paul Hackingbottom, I think they'll get rid of him first. And there you are. That's who we think will get relegated. First this season. Thank you. Share, like, subscribe, comment, subscribe. You know what to do.